I wrote when uh, one morning my brother, <laughs> just like brother, he did a lot of stories out of this guy. <laughs> Go for it! Do it! Yeah! He shows up at my house one morning and he's beating my door down. You know, so I get out of bed, go see, you know, what the hell's going on. So he's standing there, and he's like, I need a ride to the Greyhound station. So he said, Hell, that's fine. You know, just hop in. We'll go. We'll go to the Greyhound station. So we get over here and drop him off, and uh, everything's cool. You know, he's he's gonna go home. He's living out of state in the Northeast. So I can get back home, and it's like nine o'clock in the morning, and there's like a, just this door ram at my door, and I thought, what in the hell, you know? So I go out, and it's a it's a local city cop, just decked out in like full-on SWAT gear, and he's like, what the hell? Where's your brother? You know, where's your brother? And I was like, shit, I haven't seen him. You know, I I don't know. So he starts telling me, well, we think him and these other kids, you know, these bunch of teenagers, they went joyriding in this car last night. You know, so we're gonna we're gonna stand this down. We're gonna find these guys. We're gonna bust these kids. I was like, well, shit, you know, best of luck. I hope to get them. You know, so. And then I sit down on the couch and this say I pick up the county newspaper. It's like a three pages. It's a little town. I mean, it's a thousand people. The front page of the county paper has got this uh, this big like Christian poem that this same brother wrote for the church and they're going for Christmas. And they put it in the paper. And I was like, oh, in the house. So, and, that, and it never even crossed my mind that that was unusual until I sat down having dinner one time in Cleveland, Texas with, with my girlfriend, my wife now, and she's like, wow, why haven't you written a song about this? You know, this doesn't ha this isn't normal. This doesn't happen to all the time. So that's the first time it kind of crossed my mind, you know. If, all you need is a lot of stories about people that aren't normal. I was born into a fucking gold mine. <laughs>
us in his veins, they took you for your Bible and your